Now, I'm sort of partial to Northern Italy because that's where my family roots are planted. Now, additionally, it's a wine lover's paradise with a wide range of wine regions that produce some of the, the world's absolute best wines. <laughs> I'm really excited to, to take you home to Northern Italy. Are you ready? Come on, let's go. I'm Pierre and welcome to Asti Wine Consultants. Today we're going to, to look at several overarching topics. Why Northern Italian wines are some of the best wines in the world, the important regions of Northern Italy, and some of the top wines coming out of the area. Now keep in mind, at any time, if you like what you hear, click like, subscribe, and hit the little bell so you'll be notified when there's a new post. Also, make sure you share this with your friends. I'm sure they would appreciate it. Now, like I said earlier, my family is from Northern Italy. If you go almost due north of Florence to Lucca, you're getting close to my roots. Now, from Lucca, you head north and to the east to the little towns of Caparajena and Torsana. Those are the small villages that my grandmother and grandfather grew up in before they got married and moved to America. My great-grandfather and my great-great-grandfather loved God, the church, and their community. They had given substantially to the work of the church and the underprivileged in the community and were actually buried under the floor of the church. Okay, enough from reminiscing. The wine of Northern Italy. I'm not sure if you realize it, but Italy is the number one producer of wine in the world. They produce over 1,300,000,000 gallons of wine each year, while the U.S. produces just over 600 million gallons. We're number four in global production. Now, when it comes to the wines of Northern Italy, the first thing we want to look at is why the wines are so good. Actually, world class. Now, first of all, Northern Italy has a long history of winemaking with many vineyards dating back centuries. This means that winemakers have had generations to perfect their craft and develop unique techniques for producing exceptional wines. Second, Northern Italy's geography and climate are ideal for growing grapes. The region has a diverse landscape that includes rolling hills, mountains, coastal areas which uh, produce a wide, wide range of microclimates that are perfect for growing different grape varietals. Now, additionally, the cool temperature, low rainfall, and abundant sunshine in the region creates an ideal condition for, for grapevines to thrive. Now, Northern Italy is home to a number of unique grape varietals that are not grown elsewhere in the world. Now, for example, although Nebbiolo grapes are grown elsewhere, only in Northern Italy are they used to produce the famous red wine Barolo and Barbaresco. Additionally, the white grape varietal Pinot Grigio is used to make Pinot Grigio wine. Garganega uh, is used to produce Suave wine, and uh, the Galera grape is used to make the world-famous Prosecco. These grapes are prized for their distinctive flavors and aromas and are a major reason why northern I Italian wines are so highly regarded. Now, finally, winemakers are known for their uh, dedication to quality and tradition. Many wineries in the region are family owned and operated and have been producing wine using traditional methods for generations. This focus on tradition and quality has helped to establish Northern Italy as a world leader in winemaking. Now a quick tip, if you ever visit the, the region, make sure you stop and have lunch at a small roadside restaurant. Frequently, these restaurants have their own vineyards and wineries right there, and they, they pour your wine from the barrel into a carafe and then into your glass. It's amazing. In my opinion, this is what wine is all about. Oh, by the way, how are you doing? Is this information engaging? Is it informative? 
If it is, write ASTI in the comments below. Now, the second thing we'll take a look at is uh, the key wine regions in northern Italy and some of their key wines. Even though Tuscany is in northern Italy, we'll not cover it in this episode. We'll handle Tuscany in a separate video. Now, for this video, we'll start with Piedmont or Piemonte, uh, which is in northwest Italy, bordering on France and Switzerland. It's characterized by rolling hills, picturesque vineyards, and small villages. The climate is continental uh, with hot summer days and cold winters. Now, this allows uh, for the, the slow ripening of, of the grapes and the development of complex flavors. This is where the Nibbiolo grape is grown. It's used to make some of, uh, of Italy's most famous and highly regarded wines, including Barolo, Barbaresco, and Barbera. Barolo is considered one of Italy's greatest wines. It's a full body red wine with high tannins and complex flavors of cherry, licorice, tar, rose, and, and tobacco. It pairs really well with uh, rich, hearty dishes like roast meats, a risotto, a wild game, and it has a long uh, aging potential. Barbaresco is a lighter body red wine with notes of cherry, rose, and spice. It pairs well with roasted poultry, uh, grilled meats, and hard cheeses. Now, Gave. Gave is a light, crisp white wine made from the Cortese grape. With flavors of green apple and citrus, Gave pairs well with seafood dishes, light salads, and grilled veggies. Now, interestingly, before Pinot Grigio, the Pinot Grigio craze hit the U.S., Gave was the number one selling white wine coming out of Italy. And then you have Moscato de Asti. This is a sweet, low alcohol sparkling white wine made from the Muscat or the uh, Moscato Bianco grape. It brings with it flavors of peach, apricot, and honey. It's often served uh, as, as a dessert wine or paired with light uh, desserts, uh, fruit dishes, cheeses, and spicy Asian cuisine. Now, the second region is Viento. It's located in northeast Italy with influences from the nearby Adriatic Sea. It's a diverse region with mountains in the north and uh, and fertile plains in the south. It's, and in between, there's all kinds of hill country. Uh, the climate is mild with warm summers and cool winters. Uh, this is where Prosecco, Suave, and Amarone uh, della Vellapacella are produced. Amarone is a full-bodied, rich red wine made from partially dried uh, Corvina uh, Rotonella and uh, several other approved grapes. It has a complex flavor profile that includes notes of dried fruits, chocolate, and coffee. It pairs well with red meats and dishes, aged cheese, and hearty stews. Now, if you like big wines with high alcohol content, Amarone is definitely for you. Now, Valpicella is also from Viento. It's a lighter body red wine made from the, the same grape as Amarone. Uh, with flavors of cherry, raspberry, and herbs. It pairs well with pizza, pasta dishes, and grilled meats. Now, Prosecco. Prosecco is a light, sparkling white wine with uh, uh, flavors of green apple and citrus. It pairs well with light appetizers, seafood dishes, and fresh fruits. <laughs> I personally think it goes great with fried chicken. Actually, Everyone who's tried it with my, my recommendation with fried chicken have just absolutely loved it. Now also out of Viento comes Suave Classico. This is a dry white wine made from the uh, Garganega grape. Uh, it has flavors of apple, pears, and, and almonds and is known for its crisp acidity and refreshing taste. And it often pairs with, with uh, seafood and light dishes. Next up is Lombardi. Lombardy is located in northern Italy, bordering on Switzerland. It's a region of hills, valleys, and lakes with the Alps in the north and the Po River Plain in the south. The climate is cool with mild summers and cold winters. The terrain and climate make it 
well suited for growing and producing sparkling wines like uh, Francesca Corta and Triento DOC. These wines are made in the traditional cham champagne method. They have flavors of apple, lemon, and bread or biscuit and uh, pair well with oysters, caviar, and uh, light appetizers. We also find some extremely popular uh, Chardonnay and Pinot Noir coming in out of uh, Lombardy. Now from Lombardy, we go over to Trento Alta Otteridge, which is located in the far north of Italy, bordering on Austria and Switzerland. Now the region's mountainous terrain uh, and, and cool climate and long sunny days makes it well suited for growing grapes that require a longer ripening period. Trento Alta Otteridge is, is known for its Pinot Grigio, Chardonnay, and Gewürztraminer although the workhorse here is Pinot Grigio. It's one of Italy's most storied white wines. You'll taste stone fruit like peach, along with honeydew almond with tart and bitter uh, citrus peels or citrus rinds on the finish. Also, you'll pick up a touch of, of flint at the very end. Finally, we make our way to, to Frioli uh, Veneta's Giulia. It's located in the northeast corner of Italy, bordering on Austria and situated between the Adriatic Sea and the Alps. It's a hilly region with a cool, mild climate, hilly terrain, and plenty of sunshine. It's known for producing a range of white wines including Pinot Grigio, Sauvignon Blanc, Friuliano, and Prosecco. All these pair well, really well, with light appetizers, seafood dishes, and fresh fruit. Now to wrap this up, some of the best wines in the world are coming out of northern Italy. Each wine region has its own unique terroir, grape varietals, and winemaking traditions which uh, contribute to the, the distinct character of the wine produced there. As a whole, northern Italy is characterized by beautiful landscapes. You know, you don't have to have family roots there to fall in love with the region. If you ever have a chance, make your way to Northern Italy. You won't be disappointed. Hey Posse, thanks so much for investing the time to watch this video. I trust it was helpful to you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And please consider hitting subscribe. Also, click here to check out our new online shop. We have a great lineup of wine related items that will help you get the most out of your wine experience. Oh, and be sure to check out these other videos. Until next time. Cheers.